Should liquor stores be allowed to have drive throughs A new bill has made it past the first step at the state capitol. News Channel 8's Burt Mumolo reports on mixed reaction from local liquor stores. Burt? Neely, on the one hand, it'll make things easier for customers, right? But on the other hand, will it make things more difficult for folks who work in liquor stores to determine if somebody's already had too much? Located in a strip mall, the 11th and Garnett Liquor Store would not be able to take advantage of having a drive through Impossible to have a drive through Nevertheless, owner Peng Seng thinks the idea is good for the industry. And to me, it just like opened an, uh, open up an, uh, another opportunity for, for people that are interested in, in doing business. You know what I mean? We could. It would take a lot of revamping. At a liquor store on Lewis, which asked us not to show the name of their place or their faces, they raised questions about liability. I just imagine it would be difficult for us to spot if somebody was already intoxicated than be being in a vehicle and serving them window side, you know. The latest tweak in Oklahoma's alcohol laws, possibly coming to a store near you. People who could do it should do it. House Bill 2868 will now be heard on the floor of the House. Reporting live, Bert Mumble on News Channel 8. Now to